Hey guys, welcome back to the bench, and I have a unique test to go over today, um, and that is to how to accelerate the drying time on your kits, and that is a dehydrator, the food dehydrator, the kind you put your beef jerky in, your apple chips, and uh, believe it or not, it works beautiful, it speeds up the time on these uh, longer drying paints, particularly these enamels, and uh, some of these car paints, this wicked color, particularly... Uh, uh, any testers paint takes forever a gloss takes a long time so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna spray some spoons with this stuff but with the testers I'm going to be painting that entire kit right there which would normally take one to two weeks to fully cure where you can handle it and work on it which is a long time and this we're gonna do it and gonna cut it down in under a day um, I'm going to pause the camera now and I'm gonna bring you over to the food dehydrator so give me one second Here it is, guys, the food dehydrator. Now, you know the little ones they have at Walmart or the uh, Bed Bath? They're like a circle. Uh, the reason why I couldn't use those is they have stacks of rings, and you, you, you can't skip a ring to make it wider to fit a car or something. Um, you, could, you probably could just do a car body, but you can't do several other shapes. You know, it just didn't work you know, when I was testing. I had to go with this uh, large style. Either they have an open door this way or this one lifts off this way and then I have all these shelves here that uh, it's like nine of them and you can put them all in if you need them or just a couple and um, what you do is you, you paint your your your, uh, your kit you can let it dry about 20 minutes so it's kind of uh, um, to the touch where you're not gonna leave a permanent fingerprint but you can it's really tacky then you put them in you can't put them in right away and on this all you do is you adjust the time and the temp and I'll do that when I go to use it. But anyway, this is the lift outdoor style. And um, I'll show you right now. See how quiet it is? That's the fan going. I mean, I just put it on for a second. And there it is. It's slowing down now. I got one shelf in here now. And I'm going to put the car that I'm going to paint in here. I'll show you the car in a minute. And it has all these shelves. So what you do is... As you need them for the room, like I'll put the car here and I'm going to put some of the spoons on the here to give you guys an example. And we'll just let it go. I'll do about three hours. I'm going to show you uh, the clock on the wall or on my tablet. I mean, so you can see that it, it took place in one day. Sorry that it's shaking. And um, blown away by the results. I mean, it literally takes minimum a week on the enamels and some of these, some of these acrylics where we're going to shorten that time to within the day, within a few hours. You know, I was blown away with the first test, so quite happy. You guys have to get one this big. They have them a little smaller, around 89 bucks, 79 bucks. This was 120, um, but it was I'm prime, so it had free shipping. It came like overnight too. It's not too heavy. See it? Not that heavy, but it's pretty quality built, and it was highly rated. But um, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna paint a car, and I'm gonna paint some spoons. I'll show you the paint I'm gonna use, and then uh, on camera we'll set it. I'll show you the t real time, and it'll, we'll come back later in the day. Right now, it's uh, it's in the morning here, where I live, and um, that is it. All right? I'm gonna pause this and head back to the bench, and um, show you what we're gonna paint with it. Oh, and I just got these in. These are uh, um, I got these uh, dirt cheap. I mean, way under ten bucks. Old uh, old testers kits, Nissan Mid Four. Here's an Isuzu Impulse. I got more. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this when I practice uh, painting my car paints. In my splash paints, I wanted to use actual car bodies. I searched for uh, real cheap cars uh, to test, and uh, I, I found these at the warehouse. So uh, that's what we're going to be using uh, on another day. Today we already have a, a kit already lined up, and I'm going to go show you that right now. We'll head back to the bench. All right, guys, back at the bench, and this is what we're going to be doing. This will be the biggie, the big test. This is a, a Mustang kit um, that I absolutely do not like at all. Don't even have headlights. It's got chrome headlights, so I've had this one in the wings waiting to uh, practice paint. So that's what we're going to paint, and we're going to paint that with this tester's enamel. These notoriously take the longest to dry. Uh, I'll probably dump this whole bottle in the cup. We'll go 50-50 with lacquer thinner. Um, and I'm going to do a spoon of this wicked color, orange. This uh, tester's spray paint, which takes forever to dry, a, a Tamiya. This gray, I know how long it took. It took a few hours fully curing when I did my wing 
decal test, and there's Vallejo uh, uh, acrylic gloss. Gloss coats take a while to really seal in. This one takes a few hours minimum. I usually do it when I go to bed, all my clearing, so it's ready when I get up. So this is another one that I'm going to do. I'm just going to spray this over uh, one of my spoons that's already done. These I'll, I'll spray uh, spoons, and this will go to the car. I'll do these. I'll do most of these off camera when we put them in. No, no need to show me spraying each of these so we can shorten the video up a bit. But I will show myself painting the car so you can see that in real time. Now here is how I'm going to show the time is I'll use my tablet. And um, here we go. So see it? It's, right now it's, 10, it's about 10.30 Thursday, the 28th uh, a.m. And I'll use this tablet when I put it in the, the um, dehydrator and when I take it out. So you can see how long it sat there for. All right. So I'm not going to go over how I work on these because I'm actually working on a video. Let me show you what I got for a bunch of these uh, testers paints. I'm not going to use all of them, but I got a lot of the metal colors, which uh, I love to test. Look at that gold and gun metal and whatnot. So um, that's coming up. I'm going to show you how to how to airbrush these cheap paints. But uh, for now, I'm just going to put this one in in the gun and uh, I'm going to paint this Mustang. That'll be the big test that goes into the dehydrator. So let me get this mixed up in the gun and I'll meet you at the booth. Okay, guys, here we are at the booth. Uh, here's the Mustang. Paint is loaded up in here. I've got my big cup. I'm going to use my, uh, my five millimeter. Um, GSI Procon here. I got the fan cap and we're ready to go. Now this is just going to be, uh, I'm not going to be uh, fancying this thing up. I'm not going to go crazy here. I'm not going to be perfect. I just want to load it up and show you guys how long it's going to take. All right. For this to dry. One second, guys. Let me put some gloves on. I forgot I got to get in close. I'm back. I don't care so much when it's acrylic. I use that orange soap that I told you guys about. It takes everything right off. But this is enamel, so uh, we'll be a little panicky. I want this to really be covered. A lot of guys put this stuff on in one shot. Let's try it. Let's go a little slower. A little slower and a little closer. Yeah, it does work. I'll come in at the end if I have to to get the glossiness. What's going on? Oop. I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing it. There it is. Actually, I'm better off holding this and then putting it on the pedestal when we're done. How's that? It's coming out good, though. Look at that. I'm going to go a little slower when you want to get that last coat. If you want to get some kind of a shine to it. Of course, I put a gloss coat over these. So, it's not too much to go crazy over. And I'm not doing my... Uh, I'm out of paint. Let me load it back up. I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys. We're back. Had to top me off.
loading it up guys I'm loading it up don't lose your grip on this thing I'm not gonna get this perfect but I just wanted to load it up you know because this stuff really takes forever to dry Take my word for it. I'm using this because this is the lo longest to dry paint, enamel. I know I don't use a lot of enamels, but uh, these paints are nice. They're cheap. They come out nice. And I, I will be doing a video on it. Um, I'm going to call that it. That's good enough. I keep saying I'm not going to go crazy, and here I am trying to go crazy. So there it is. All right. Um, let's head over to the dehydrator. Load this thing up. Set the timer, and we'll begin the process. I'll see you over there. All right, guys. Here we are at the dehydrator. And uh, I put the body in here on the swivel stand. All right. I'm not going to touch it. It's really tacky. I did a spoon quick just to do a spoon. We'll throw it with the other spoons. All right. This is why the bigger one comes in handy. If you're going to do bigger pieces like this, you just push this in. I'll put this one back here. Um, this has, it's, it's tacky, this has clear, the uh, Vallejo clear. This is the Tamiya um, spray can. This is the Testers blue spray can. This is Wicked Color Orange. I let everything sit 20 minutes so, you know, you could touch it, but it's still tacky. And uh, that's the proper thing to do. Make sure it's, you dry it a little bit. You don't want to speed dry it once you put it in, you know, before you put it. You got to let it dry a little bit. 20 minutes is how I tested it, and 20 minutes was perfect. So that goes in. Put the lid on here, the door, and we go to power. All right, it's set for 10 hours. So we're going to go way down on that. We're going to go down to, I don't know, I think we'll go to four hours. You know, three, four hours. I figured it's, uh, let's see what time it is now. Wait, set the temp. I'm sorry. You don't want to go over. You keep it around 120. 113 is good. 122, I hear, is, is good, too. Um, either way, I'll go a little lower. I'll go to 113. Let's turn on my tablet here. And there we are. 101, 1101, 101 a.m. So uh, four hours will put us at 3 o'clock. I'll come back. I'll do... Uh, the unveiling on camera and um, we'll see where we stand I'm telling you guys this thing is it's a great little gadget if you want to you know if you've got a lot of kits to build and you want to do them uh, many more per year this will shorten your time particularly enamels and cars in general if you're spraying big car bodies you need them to dry a long time you can really shorten a week down into a day which is quite significant but anyway that is it we'll let this do its thing we'll come back later I'll show the tablet in the time of day and um, I'll pull them out. We'll show the results. All right, guys. We'll see you later on. All right, guys. We are back. Uh, it's a little later. I got a little busy uh, in my uh, dealings of the day. So uh, it is 524. So it's a couple hours after I thought. I came down. I just extended the time two hours. It just ended just now. So uh, let's put this aside. And um, let's open her up. Uh, th there's no harm in letting it go long. Actually, this is short. You see, I, I recommend going uh, overnight. Put them in when you go to bed and turn it off in the morning. It runs at a low, low uh, electricity. It doesn't use a lot. It, it just it and it just keeps running. You can you can't even hear the thing while it's running. It's so quiet. But um, I also recommend uh, letting them cool off a bit. Let let it cool, and then. Uh, this, I had this off for a while, so these are pretty cool. Here's the spoons. Oops, there we go. I'll gather these up and bring them over to the to the desk. They should be all fully dried and cured. And here's the car. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Look at that. All right, the lighting is better near the, near the bench. So that is that. This is what it looks like. When it's full, I mean, you can really load this thing up with uh, tons of trays. I mean, it holds nine of them. I probably will leave most in storage because I'm not going to use that many. You see what I meant by how close 
like they normally are. Like you can't fit, you can fit a lot of Gundam parts in here, I'm guessing. But as far as putting a car in, I guess you could put all the parts up here if you want to cure everything, engine parts, and then leave a space, and then come down here. And then you can put the body in at the bottom down here, you know. So it's a great piece of equipment, particularly if you're going to do a lot of production. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to pause this and swing the camera over to the bench. All right, guys, here we are back at the bench. And um, here we go. Now, we'll show you the car last. This is the Wicked, Wicked Colors. This is their, just their regular straight paint. Not pearl or not their detail colors, but um, goes on. It goes on kind of heavy, and it takes a long time to cure. But uh, this is fully cured, and um, these could have went in for maybe an hour, two hours. I think you can probably cure this. This uh, these acrylics. You know, I go probably an hour, maybe a lacquer, and then uh, go much longer on an acrylic on a certain acrylics like this would take a little longer, and the Enamels take the longest, you know. I would go overnight with enamels, but look at that. It's fully cured. I'm not even leaving a mark on it. Look how good this stuff paints, man. I'm doing a, I'm doing a test on the, the whole lineup of Wicked Color, but look at that. Now, test is. Their spray cans take forever to harden. This is fully hardened. I'm not, I mean, I can't leave a mark on that. That's fully hardened as if it was in, I left it dry for a week or two. Beautiful. This is awesome. Look at this. This is the Tamiya. This is, I mean, this is, it's fully cured. It's fully cured. Now, this one is the tricky. This is the acrylic gloss. Now, they're, uh, I spray a lot of stuff quickly when I want to see how something looks like with a gloss, but even then, it takes a while to dry. This stuff takes hours to dry. And uh, this was a uh, craft paint. This is one of my craft paint tests. And this is on, I mean, this feels like a diamond encrusted coating. I mean, you, you should feel how tough this actually feels. That hardened. All right, now here's the spoon. Now this is the lacquer. Where did I put it? There it is. This is these little lacquer paints. I mean, a lacquer. Enamels, I use lacquer thinner. Oh, let me show you what I thinned it with. I thinned it with this cheap stuff, 50-50. That's all you need. Even though it says enamel, use the lacquer thinner. And look at this. Look at that. Getting little hairs here. Fully hardened. It's nice. It's got a nice. Let me see if I can stand some buffing on my shirt here. Beautiful. And look at it. And now the body. Now I would let this go. Personally, I would. I would go overnight. I would go overnight with it. But. Um, you adjust the temperature. You get it just right. You don't have to go past 120 degrees. Uh, and mostly it comes down to time. You know, the longer the better. You don't, have to, don't want to go forever. But you can go a day with the stuff on low heat. And uh, look, I mean, normally I could... Uh, the base fell off my little turntable. Normally, uh, you can't touch this for a long time. A long time. But look at this. I mean, I would leave handprints all over um, those testers' paints. These enamels. Most enamels take forever. Look at that. You know, I mean, there's not much more I could say. I just want to show the gadget, and I think uh, uh, it's just if you're building a ton of kits and you want to start doing a lot of painting, I think the way to go is to get a small food dehydrator. You know, you can go up to 100 bucks. That was 120 I had a credit. I think I had a couple of gift cards for Christmas from Amazon, so I, I wanted to use it, and I wanted to test one out. I've always wanted to, so I figured I'd use it for a video. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, this is this is pretty much dry. If I went even longer, it probably would have been like a diamond hard if I let it go even longer. because uh, But it's not leaving any marks as much as I touch it. And believe me, I, you, if I sprayed this spoon in this car and I walked up to it, literally in the morning and came at dinner time, I'd put my finger in this, I'd come right up with my thumb. It'd still be tacky. It's tacky for a long time. But uh, I think I'm going to do a lot of uh, black gloss spoons which need to be fully cured before I do the uh, chrome over them and the metal colors. So I think I'm going to do a whole bunch of spoons and load it up in that thing and have them all cured right away. So, And that'll be ready to go. And I, matter of fact, I can do that in the morning and be ready when I do a test for you guys. But anyway, that's it. I'll put a link below for this particular model. Um, 
But again, you don't have to get it. Just get any food dehydrator. But you need one with adjustable shelves and a door if you're going to be doing cars. Even some of the bigger Gundams are tricky, you know. But like this would have fit because this was a, the, all the parts in this were tiny. Even these ball parts were all little panels, you know. But uh, when you get into some bigger stuff, some of the ones don't have adjustable shelves, and it's just they're just too close. Where well, these have the adjustable shelves, so um, I would go with that. Anyway, guys, um, I just I was just dying to show you this little trick: food dehydrator to cure your paints. And um, if you're not even using enamels, you could probably do everything in two hours, even an hour and a half. And you can go on and start building. You could probably even stop panel lining if you want to panel line with everything. Because it just it just hardened it. I mean, the, 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 what it did with this gloss is just unbelievable. Because it takes a long time. It's got little bubbles in it, like a foamy look to it. Then it looks cloudy. Then it clears up. It's a whole process. It takes hours for that stuff to dry. And this is just beautiful. Beautiful. Remember... Let everything sit for about 10 to 20 minutes, room temperature, after you paint it, then put it into the unit, all right? Don't just spray it and throw it in the unit. you got to have it kind of settle a bit, you know, almost finger dry, but still, it would ruin it if you touched it, you know, for a long time. That's when you put it in. But anyway, that's it, guys. Um, uh, let me know if you guys try one out, and if you have any questions about it, you, know, you can write me below. Uh, please like. Subscribe if you haven't already. I have a bunch more to go. I'm going to be reviewing my first airbrush I had like 25 years ago. At least this uh, this Model Master Aztec airbrush. It's a single action, but it's got a unique head design where you only have to clean the nozzle. There's no paint that goes inside that part right there. And then I found extra jars for it. And then I found this. Um... This is a single action like the other one I showed you, but uh, instead of it turning it and adjusting the nozzle, you just pop the nozzle out and you change it. And the red is small, the orange is medium, and the yellow is a large nozzle. And you got a cup or a jar, and they both fit. They're all, and they're all interchangeable in the Aztec lineup. So maybe I'll be reviewing this soon also. But uh, yeah, that's it. I really wanted to show you guys this right away, this uh, food dehydrator to dry your parts. And... Um, I love it. It works great. And I'll be using it for quite a bit now for my testing. And uh, anyway, you guys have a terrific week. And uh, I'll probably see you late over the weekend with another video. Be good, guys.